Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at compound booleans, which sound complicated, but I know you'll do fine. So I'm going to give you some examples to show you how this works. If I wanted to go to a musical event, I need a ticket and I need this concert to be near me. If I want to go on a roller coaster, I need to be either tall enough or I need to be 18. And if I want to be a teacher, they let a lot of things go, but I cannot have been convicted of a felony. So in Python, we implement these through the and, the or, and the not. So the way this works, if we have two Booleans or two Boolean expressions and we need them both to be true, then we use the and. If we have two Boolean or Boolean expressions and we can pick either one of them to be true, then we use the or. And if we have a Boolean that we want to check to see if it's not that Boolean, then we use the not. Sometimes you'll see these Boolean tables which show how they combine. If you're taking the AP exam, you'll have to know these, but I don't recommend that you memorize these tables. I think you should use real world examples instead. So an example that's worked really well for my students for the and is the field trip. For the field trip, you need permission from the teacher and you need a permission from the caretaker. If one of those is false, there is no field trip for you. So they both need to be true for you to go on the field trip or for the field trip to be true. For the or, the example that we use in class is, am I wearing white? So this means if my pants are white or my shirt is white, I'm wearing white. But only one of them needs to be true for the whole thing to be true. Let's see how this works in action. So I'm gonna have an if statement, if favorite fruit is equal to equal to strawberry and second favorite fruit is equal to equal to banana. And if that combined statement is true, it will print out you have great taste in fruits or else it's gonna print out meh, your taste is lacking. So a favorite fruit is strawberry and second favorite fruit is banana. First comparison is true and the second comparison is true. True and true is equal to true. It prints out you have great taste in fruits. If I change favorite fruit to mango, now favorite fruit equals equal strawberry is false. Second favorite fruit equal equal banana is still true. False and true. False and true is false. So this is false in here, which means it doesn't do the if. It runs the code associated with the else and it prints up met your taste is lacking. If I change favorite fruit back to strawberry and change second favorite fruit to peach, we're gonna have a true and false, which is equal to false. So it will not do the if code. Instead, it will do the else, which will print out meh, your taste is lacking. I'll change this one more time. I'll change favorite fruit equals to mango and second favorite fruit is equal to peach. So now both of these comparisons are false, false, and false. And because the expression that's part of the if is false, it will not run that code. It will go to the else and run that code. All right, so this time I'm gonna show how or works. Remember the and is like the field trip. Both need to be true for it to be true. And the or is like, am I wearing blue? You only need to be wearing blue on the top or the bottom for the entire thing to be true. For this one, I'm gonna use straight Booleans instead of strings, and we're gonna simulate a concert. So we're looking at is friend and has ticket. If is friend is true or has ticket is true, then the whole thing is true. The Boolean is true, so it prints out the code associated with the if, which is that you can go to the party. If I change is friend to false, then we have false or true. That's true, you can still come to the party. The Boolean is true, so it prints out the code associated with the if. So I'll change is friend back to true, and I change has ticket equals to false, then we have a true or a false, so the whole thing is true. So it runs the code associated with the if, you can still go to the party. Finally, if you're not a friend and you don't have a ticket, basically you have no inside connections, both of these are false and you can't get into the party. All right, here's the not in action. And the way the not works is it takes whatever's after it, either true or false, and it changes it to the other one. So this one basically says not x is equal to five, but x is equal to five. So x is equal to five is true, not true is false. And if I change x equal to six, then x is equal to five is false, not false is true. And in case you're a math person, I wrote it out sort of as math equations. It might be more obvious if I do this with Booleans. So if a felony is a false, then not felony, that means you might be able to be a teacher, which might be a common use of how this works. All right, so here are the common mistakes. For the first one, you wanna remember that everything that comes after the if is a Boolean or a Boolean expression. So if I do if is playing, that's saying if true, then it prints out you're playing game and that runs. Something that may be more intuitive is to say if is playing equals equals to true. And if I write this code, it works, but it gives me a pep eight error. Why? But it's a little bit redundant. Remember, all I need is what comes after that if to be a Boolean. So true is already a Boolean. True equals to true is also evaluates to Boolean, but it's a little bit less streamlined. The pep eight error might tell you that is is okay to do. You should not use is unless you really know what you're doing. Using is for comparison can lead to some unexpected results. Usually, Python programmers only use is to compare to none. So unless you know what you're doing, don't use an is. 
bottom line here is if you're checking a boolean inside the if, just have the boolean, nothing else. Here's another common mistake. If I say number is equal to five, and I go if number is equal to five or six, print number is five or six. It prints out number is five or six, and that's what you expect. But if I change number equal to one, it still prints out number is five or six. What? Well, here's why. It's because integers, strings, and floats by themselves are true. If you look at this example right here. So if I say if six, I'm not comparing as anything, Six is true because it's an integer, so it prints out six is true. If banana, banana is a string, so it's true. So going back to the original problem, six will always be true, so you're doing if true or false or true, which is always true. So to fix this, I need to compare on both sides. A full comparison on both sides. So number equals equals five or number equals equals six. I can't do it in one shot. All right, here I'm gonna go over the solutions to the labs. So please pause the video and try them out. They're not too bad, I'm sure you'll be able to figure them out. All right, for this first one, it's asking me to make the code correct by adding an and, or, or not. So if I run it, you'll see right here it gives me an error, replace me, so I know that's probably the line I have to fix. Remember, and is like the field trip. I need both of them to be true, or is like, am I wearing blue? I only need one to be true. So if it needs to be something between zero and five, that means it needs to be less than five and greater than five. Both need to be true, so that's and. So I run it and it's good. So the next one, if I run this one, replace me, it shows me what I have to change. I need to change it to and or or not. It says, if the state is equal to Kansas and or state is equal to Nebraska, I live in the Midwest. So in this case, only one of them needs to be true. And when only one needs to be true, that's an or. So I change it to or, I run it, and it's good. Next problem, problem three is kind of the same thing. I run it, uh, what do I have here? I've quit is equal to false. If quit, you keep playing the game. So I want the run to print out you keep playing the game, which means I need this Boolean to be true. And so if this is false right now, I need the opposite of false and that is not. So if I add a not here and I run it, it works as I expect and I'm good. Finally, for this last one, name is equal to Steph. So for this if and else, I'm expecting to print out your name is not Jalen or Jason. But when I run it, prints out, you might have played basketball for the Celtics in 2022. So something is going wrong with this comparison. And if you watch the video, you know you need to have a full comparison on both sides. So you have name equals to Jalen or name equals to Jason. You can't do kind of a shortcut where you only compare half of it. It's not enough just to change it to and. That's not going to work. Because again, my name is Steph and I don't want to print out the line where you might have played basketball for the Celtics. So again, I need to do the full comparison and then it works. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.